Hey, what's up? Robert here from Robert's Productions, and today I'm going to show you how to create a cool looking alien text in Photoshop. So, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is go to File, New, create a new document. Uh, the width at uh, 700 and the height at 400. Now you can have that whatever you want it to be. The background content's white. Click OK. And now we're just going to simply add a gradient overlay. Uh, choose Gradient Tool, and I'm going to choose Black to White. Uh, normal blending mode and choose linear gradient we're gonna be going from the left hand side to the right hand side and uh, hold on the shift key so it's nice and straight and we don't want it to turn out crooked okay so then we're gonna create another new layer and I'm gonna actually choose the radial gradient change the blending mode to uh, lighten and then change this from white to transparency so we can swap these White to transparency. I'm just going to create little spheres. So maybe one there, one here, one there, another one there, a couple here, and there. Okay? And now I'm going to go to Filter, Distort, Wave. And I'm just going to randomize these settings. Um, it doesn't matter how you set these, it can be all random. So now we got a funky looking effect going on. I'm going to create another new layer, and I'm going to fill this layer with a green color. Maybe a kind of a dark green color. Click OK, and select the paint bucket tool, fill that in. And then we're going to change the blending mode from normal to color, and bring the opacity down a little bit. OK, now I'm going to add another new layer, and we're going to add some brushes. Here I got some uh, blood flat brushes that you can get by searching Google for uh, Photoshop blood splat brushes. I'm just going to add a couple splats of blood. Or alien blood because it's kind of green. Okay, so uh, whoa. There we have our blood splats and uh, you can actually, you know, bring the opacity down, make it transparent. You can also vary the brushes change the uh, you know make one brush green and then add some black spots in there as well so now we're gonna create our alien text you can always download a cool uh, alien font but in this case I'm just gonna go ahead and choose a regular bold font let's see what that looks like You know, that looks pretty good for uh, for some alien text. I'm actually going to change the font color to maybe that, that green. That green, where's that? Yeah, that kind of a dark green. Click OK. Now we get to do the fun part. We're going to style the text. So we're going to double click to change up the uh, layer style. And I'm going to add a drop shadow. Keep the blending mode at multiply. I'm going to set the opacity at around maybe 50. Uh, keep these the same. I'm going to change the distance to 0, the spread to 0, and the uh, size to 10. Now I'm going to add an outer glow. And I'm going to change the blend mode to color burn. Bring the opacity down to around 60. Change the color to black. And I'm going to bring the spread up 10 and the size up to 15. Now I'm going to add an inner glow, change the blend mode to overlay, change the opacity to around 60, bring up the noise to around 65. We want a lot of noise going on in there. And I'm going to change the color to kind of a red. Click OK, and leave everything else the same. I'm going to change the quality range to 30%, and now we're going to add a bevel and emboss. I'm going to keep the style at inner bevel, change the technique to chisel hard, uh, bring the depth up to you know around 500, uh, keep the size at 5, 0, I'm going to change the angle to negative 45. 
And then this one to 35, the altitude. And then I'm going to add a glass contour. And I'm actually going to choose this one right here, which is the ring double. And for the highlight mode, I'm going to change that to overlay. Bring the opacity up to around 85-ish or so. Bring the opacity for the shadow mode to zero. And I'm going to add gradient overlay. I'm going to change the blend mode to overlay. I'm going to change the opacity to 70% or so. And I'm going to, I want it to be white to black, so I'm actually just going to reverse this. I want the style to be reflected and scale it up a little bit. And finally, I'm going to add a pattern overlay. And I'm going to change it to this pattern right here. Change the blend mode to overlay. I'm going to bring the opacity to around 45-ish or so. I'm going to bring the scale down to 50%. and click OK. So now after all those effects it's starting to look pretty good. Now we can create another new layer. Go to image, apply image, click OK. Just leave that all the same. And what that does is it just merges all these layers, kind of takes a screenshot. And so if we just solo that layer, it's still the same. So now I'm going to go to Filter, Distort, Wave, while having that layer selected. And you know, just randomize everything, click OK. I'm going to change the layer mode from Normal to Lighten. And lower the opacity pretty far down to around you know 30% or so. And I'm going to duplicate this layer by clicking and dragging it down to the new layer icon. Then I'm going to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And I can just, you know, apply any amount. Click OK. I'm going to change the layer mode to Overlay. And then bring the opacity up to around 50%. So there you have it. A cool looking alien text done in Photoshop. Let's just solo the text. The text itself is pretty cool. Now you can probably add that to any background. It's a, it's a nice looking text. So I hope this helped. Thank you for watching. And until next time, take care.